Hi, here we are again doing more casseroles. So this is done. This contains hamburger, textured vegetable protein, onions, some spices from a box, some of these Shan meat and vegetable curry, and nettles. And then I added some of this. This is a cream sauce powder. I think it was, it could have been for, um, Mmm, that's good. Wow, very nice. Okay, so I've put the other casseroles away now. So I'm going to add this to my potatoes and carrots. I hope that these will be good for for two nights, two meals. So we eat it the first night and put it in the fridge and have it again the second night. And they're always different because there's different amounts of everything in everything in each of them. Okay, I'm going to save this this will be for using with the rice. I have brown rice ready. Okay. Actually, this has got too much stuff in it compared to the other one. Okay, and then it's good like that. You can freeze it just like that, or maybe you put your cheese on it, or you could put breadcrumbs on it, or, um, like stuffing. You could put stuffing on top. You could put cornflakes, something like that. I'm going to stick with cheese for now because it's already out and melted. This was frozen cheese. I melted it in the microwave for one minute. And you have enough. Okay, that's that. Now you can add vegetables too. You know, you, you could add some peas or something to any of this. I think I like peas. I think I'm going to add peas to these. we can find any peas. Yes, indeed. Here we go. We should have added them before the cheese, but... The peas melted one day before they got frozen again. Not good. It loses a lot of vitamins when you do that. Okay. There we go. I think those are good like that. Okay, it's Nancy today, cooking casseroles. See how many I've got now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now I'll have a couple more, maybe three more. See you later. Bye.